Governor Gary Herbert personally thanked custodial and volunteer crews cleaning up the vandalism at the Utah State Capitol. It takes a lot longer to clean things up than just to destroy them. But to see the cleanup that's been done here and what the Capitol looks like today because of really people stepping up saying, it's my home and I'm not going to have it defaced. The Capitol Preservation Board says it's still tallying up the damage, but most of it appears to be graffiti. Some professional restoration crews volunteered their time to spray off the graffiti from the historic building. The Capitol was the scene of protests that ended in arrests, but it was notably calmer than the violence we witnessed in downtown Salt Lake City. What we saw last night was really disheartening. Uh, what started out as a peaceful protest became just criminal behavior and people that use this opportunity to loot, and to riot, and to steal, uh, vandalize. Uh, that's not Utah. The governor says the state will work to address the underlying causes of the protests. Certainly are issues that need to be discussed and uh, we need to make sure we understand the underlying issues there and see what we can do to make it better. The Utah National Guard has been activated through Salt Lake City's curfew that ends Monday morning. Governor Herbert tells Fox 13 he will not be dismissing them right away. We'll keep them on the ready. We'll keep them on the ready so we'll see if they're needed. On the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.